While restaurants are slowly reopening their dining rooms, they aren't done needing our help. This week in the feed, Kylie Burr shows us why Frontline Foods is still working hard on their mission to feed frontline workers and support our restaurants in the process. I couldn't raise my hand fast enough. Brittany Myers wasted no time stepping up when the pandemic began. I normally travel for work, so I have a lot of extra time. On top of working from home for her job in finance, she's leading the local chapter of Frontline Foods. In two months, we're now, we went from one chapter in Silicon Valley to now um, 55 chapters across the across the country. They take donations and put in orders at local restaurants to feed those on the front line. Since two months ago, we've been able to deliver over 20,000 meals to frontline teams across Denver. Our organization is 100% volunteer led, 0% overhead. So all the donations are going 100% to the local restaurants. And frontline goes beyond just doctors and nurses. Beyond just your typical clinicians and nurses, we're, you're all, we're also serving security workers, admin, uh, janitorial staff, um, and then also like long-term long -term nursing facilities. It's a win-win for restaurants and for healthcare workers. And for Chef Linda Hampson Fox at the Bindery, it's more than just a boost in business. My team is just so pumped up. Their morale is so high when we get to, you know, produce food to do and participate with Frontline. They've been making meals for Frontline Foods a couple times a week. It's just a different feeling in the kitchen. Everyone has just such a clear purpose. And it's important to Chef Linda on a personal level too. My husband is a physician. My stepson is a physician. I just know what they're going through. Now that restaurants are starting to reopen, Brittany wants people to know we still have a long way to go. Our restaurants still need our help. But she has no doubt Colorado will step up and make it happen. Just watching the Denver community come together in this crisis and just really band together to get through this. It's, it's been absolutely life-changing, just being able to watch the response in crisis.